So we woke up to one of the biggest stories in the banking industry. Actually, um, the biggest um, acquisition we've seen in the history of Ghana's banking industry. Now, Ghana Commercial Bank is to acquire UT Bank and Capital Bank. As we speak, the central bank has approved the purchase agreement for this transaction to take off. So what we are going to see is um, GCB will take over um, every asset on liability of these two banks. Their um, branches, um, workers will now be uploaded to GCB. ATMs, banking halls, etc. now are under Ghana Commercial Bank. What does this mean for you if you work for that bank or if you deposit money in that bank or say a customer you've taken a loan? As it is now, you still are with these two banks, but you're under Ghana Commercial Bank. So if you have a loan with UT Bank, you still have to pay that loan. If you want to have um, any banking activity, you can visit the branch that you are. But what you will notice is that the signages or the colors will now be that of GCB Bank. So for Capital Bank, they are headquartered at um, Spintex Road. You see it look now like GCB. For UT Bank, which is headquartered at airport, you see it look like GCB. Now the transact, the um, negotiations are still ongoing. What we know is that um, PwC is the receiver of this transaction and um, there's a security company also in charge of the transaction proper. Now, it is expected that there may be uh, a few um, layoffs due to the development um, because uh, if you look at UT Bank, for example, their staff um, base is about 710. For Capital Bank, about 350. GCB also has huge numbers, so we are likely to see these um, numbers from these two sides cut off as the, the period um, goes. Now, the other issue has to do with how much GCB is paying for these two entities. We are being told that the two together, about 95 million CDs will be spent to buy them. If you look at the balance sheets of the two, they are running in liabilities of over 800 million CDs each for the two, while their assets are around 115, 112 million CDs only. So very much in the red for these uh, um, two banks. Now, um, the central bank has said that they intend to monitor the development well because this is indeed the first we are seeing in, in the country. We've seen a measure um, a couple of years ago where Ecobank bought TTB, but of this magnitude where one bank is buying two um, local banks is something we've not seen. So these are interesting times in the banking industry. Let me also say that the Ghana Stock Exchange just this morning also released a statement that um, the trading of shares of UT Bank on the stock exchange has been indefinitely suspended. <laughs>